guys, somebody's got to give this one a new home. She's lost and scared and injured and on her last legs. But I think you could bring her back to life. Still got a pulse. It's a little baby, a little tiny baby. This, uh, you know, whoever abuses like this should be taken out of society and beaten to death with an old two-stroke exhaust because it's just not right. They took the tank off of her, took the head off of her, took the exhaust off her, raped the front fender, and left her for dead. But she's still rolling. The wheels are nice. The forks are straight. It's got a beautiful seat. Look at the, look at the rear fender and, and the number plates and the pegs and the engine cases and the rear transaxle here. In fact, if she dies and has to be parted out, my good friend from Ride Florida told me that the, there's a pinion gear in here that's worth $300 because they use them in, in mopeds or something like that. Not really sure what I'm talking about, but that's what he told me. Right inside here is a pinion gear that I guess are really valuable. But in any event, she rolls nice. She's got good bones. Unfortunately, whoever abused it actually cracked the frame right here. It's gonna need a, a weld on the frame. The frame's gonna need to be welded. See that little crack in the frame? It's like the ghetto welded it. But um, not uncommon for, for one that was ridden hard. But the forks are straight, the triple clamp straight, the wheels look good, the rear shocks and everything are there. The pegs are intact and it's got a kicker. So some good parts left. Hopefully somebody will give her a new home and at least uh, give the parts a second. You know, if, if she has to die, uh, she should be a donor and donate the parts that are left to, to resurrect another little mini. So, anyways, good luck bidding on her. I'm gonna tuck her away for the night in the museum.